And now it's time for Dictator Doings, where we see what's doing with the world's dreamiest dictators. We kick off in North Korea, where perhaps the world's most ruthless dictator seems to be enjoying killing people as ruthless dictators do. Do you want to hear my new song? I want to know if it's true you poisoned your aunt and had your defense chief executed for dozing off in a meeting. These are baseless insults. But if you don't like my song, I might nuke your TV studio. <laughs> Just joking. Maybe you wanted to hear my song? Yes, yes, please, Mr. Oon. I am the un and only. There's nobody I'd rather be. I am the un and only. Can't take Korea away from me. That's... Enjoy it, or I may be called the nukes. I am the un and only. There's nobody I'd rather be. Crap wrong, Scott. I am the un and only. Can't take Korea away from me. Can't take Korea away from me. Meanwhile, in Zimbabwe, another striking dictator has had his role in the mass killings of Ndebele people in the 80s brought to light. President Mugabe, you've only ever referred to this as a moment of madness. Are you willing to come clean now? I think it's just typical. The dishonor you show me, you disgraceful West End media. So you're saying these allegations are not true? Whether they're true or not isn't important. I'm saying that even with this, I don't get fast billing on your dictator list. Even with this, that bloody Kim Jong-un fellow is seen as being a better dictator than I am. I'd say that for a lot of people, whether these allegations are true or not is important. I don't care about those people. Is it true that some of these involved were North Korean trained soldiers, the 5th Brigade? There you go again, bringing him into it. It's always Kim Jong this, Kim Jong that. I refuse to tolerate this tomfoolery any longer. As ISIS creeps closer to Palmyra, the West is panicking about all the valuable archaeological sites and artifacts that could be destroyed. So-called monument men, in tribute to the George Clooney film, are hiding and preserving what they can. There's always an easier way. You have a way to stop ISIS? I keep telling people, uh, but no one wants to listen to me. It's simple. There are definitely devices which will destroy the enemy without destroying physical objects. You mean chemical weapons? I mean certain devices which target the biological strength of our enemy. Chemical weapons? Tactical devices which uh, might be weaponized and uh, potentially chemical nature. Oh, come on, Scott. I am only trying to help. So, chemical weapons then. Uh, gotcha. 